Hello and welcome to another episode of Our Life in the Irish League here on Red Men Football Adventures. Now in this week's episode we travel to the home of Dergview Football Club in Castle Derg for the Lock Goal 41 Championship between Dergview Football Club and Harlan and Wolf Welders. Now also in this episode you'll see our travels to the ground. I show you a brief tour of the ground and tell you a little bit of a history of Dergview Football Club. And also Lewis and I stopped off at Kelly's Inn not too far from Castle Derg for some months with the Welders team itself. And much more. So I hope you enjoy this episode and this new series here on our Redman Football Adventures channel. So let's get straight into the footage from our trip to Castle Derg, home to Dergview Football Club. So on the travels once again was Lewis and I as we first of all boarded the train to Belfast, which we get off at the stop Titanic Quarter, which is just across the road from Harnwolf Shipyard and also the SSE Arena. And then from there we took a five-minute walk round to the Harnwolf Welder Social Club boarded the team bus and we were on our travels on the road once again to Castle Derg. But before we got to Castle Derg we had a brief stop off at Kelly's Inn in Garvaki just outside Dungannon. Kelly's Inn in Garvaki is one of Tyrone's oldest and most famous bars and restaurants ideally situated in one of Ireland's most ancient highways leading from Donegal in the west, Andrum in the north and Dublin in the south. Kelly's Inn today still enjoys its reputation for playing host to well-known musicians over the years and also famous faces from the world of sport. Now in the recent 12 months since the Harnwolf Welders last visited Kelly's Inn, it's had a lot of renovation work done to its restaurants, bars and hospitality facilities. So it was time for Lewis and I to sit down and enjoy our morning coffee and tea with our breakfast which was provided by Kelly's Inn, which I must say their breakfast service and the service in general was first class as always. So after Lewis and I finished our breakfast I took my camera into the back bar to have a look at the facilities they had which was facing out of the main road of the building itself. Then I took a walk out to the front of Kelly's Inn to have one final look before Lewis and I headed off onto the next part of our journey to Castle Derg and board it back onto the team bus. So after our great breakfast at Kelly's Inn, we were back on the road once again. Around about 30 minutes it took from Kelly's Inn to get to Castle Derg, home of Dergview Football Club, and we arrived there safe and sound. Derg View Football Club is one of the youngest clubs in the Irish League, only formed back in 1980. And since my last visit to Dara Park around about two years ago, it has had a lot of work done to it, with new dugouts installed and also work done to the main stand, which includes a brand new press box as well. Overall, the work has been done to Dara Park in recent years. I must say I was quite impressed since my last visit to Dara Park. So after a good walk around Dara Park, checking out all the latest updates to the stadium, I then headed over towards the clubhouse where first of all I was greeted by an outdoor facility just installed for this season for fans to grab a beverage at games. Then I took myself into the main clubhouse where I was greeted first of all by the private boardroom where I had a good look around and then from there I took myself into the main bar to have a look at the facilities as I moved forward into the clean part of the clubhouse. So I now entered the bar area where I came across the recently won Northwest Senior Cup which was Dirkview's first major senior cup honour so a big congratulations to all involved at the club for that. I then moved across this ground in towards the changing room areas where I saw a quick glimpse into the home and away dressing rooms. I made my way back into the stadium where both teams were on the pitch warming up and preparing for kickoff as it was fast approaching. As always, every week as Lewis does, he likes to have a kickabout on the pitch before each game. And after his kickabout, he got himself ready for the game, took his camera into the stands to take some photographs of spectators and more. 
So let's take a look at the best of the action from the game between Derby and the Welders. After the game was over, I managed to catch up with Welder's assistant manager Ian Doran to get his thoughts on the 2 1 win over Derview. To watch this full interview, go to Welder's TV on YouTube and don't forget to check out the match highlights as well. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed the footage from Castle Derg, home to Derg View Football Club, as I took you a little look around the ground itself and told you a little bit of a history of them. And major congratulations to their major honour from winning their first senior trophy last season. So big congratulations to Derby Football Club and all the best for them for the season moving forward. Now guys, in the next episode of our series here on Redman Football Ventures, Lewis and I finally, after a two-year wait, head off to Harnamuth Welders Football Club's new stadium, Blanchflower Park in Belfast. We will give you a full tour of the stadium as it opens for its first game as they take on Loch Breda in the Loch Gull 41 Championship. Now, Harder with Welders have been waiting for this ground to open up for almost two years, as things have obviously delayed the build of the stadium due to the COVID-19 lockdown and much more. So stay tuned for the next episode as we take you to the brand new £6 million stadium of Harder with Welders Football Club here in Northern Ireland. So if you enjoyed this episode where we travel to Castle Derg, home to Derby Football Club, drop a like on this video, and also if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe below. And until the next episode, guys, thanks for watching.